ankabud and uh, also uh, we we going to continue surah al ankabut and different surahs surah ahzab also in that we going to cover till ayah number 1 to 30 we are doing juz number 21 and in this ankabut we already uh, covered the main theme of the surah like which talks about ankabut and ankabut means uh, the home of the spider and the home of the spider allah subhanahu wa taala gave an uh, example in this like how feeble it is how uh, like you know uh, like feeble it will be break the people who are asking other deities instead of allah subhanahu wa taala how weak they are they can't protect them they can't uh, like provide anything for them and today is uh, in juz number 21 we going to cover few more surahs like surah ur rum surah ur sajda surah al ahzab let's continue with surah ul uh, ankabut before that we going to learn few things about quran because the purpose of learning quran why what is the virtues of the quran Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says the book of guidance and light fa amma yati annakum minni hudan fa man ittaba huda fa la yudillu wa la yashka and if there should come to you guidance from me then whoever follow my guidance will neither go astray in the world nor suffer in the hereafter and Allah mentioned in surah an-nisa ayah number 174 Ya ayyuhan nasu qad ja'akum burhanun mir rabbikum wa anzalna ilaykum nuran mubina o mankind there has come to you a conclusive proof from your lord and we have sent down to your clear light Zaid bin Qarqam radiyallahu anhu said Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to proceed o people i am a human being a messenger from my lord is about to come to me and i shall respond meaning my time of death might come soon i will leave i am leaving among among you two weighty things the first one is the book of allah in which there is guidance so hold fast to the book of allah and adhere to it he exhorted and motivated as regarding the book of allah then he said and the second is the member of my household i urge you to remember allah in regard to the member of my family a source of guidance for the believers and the source that is the quran and sunnah so we all should adhere to the quran and sunnah that is the two things muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam left for us surah al ankabut ayah number 45 utlu ma uhiya ilayka min alkitab wa aqimu as-salata inna as-salata tanha 'anil fahsha'i wal munkar wa la dhikrullahi akbar wallahu ya'lamu ma tasna'un and recite o prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what has been revealed to you of the book and establish prayer in the prayer prohibited immorality and wrong doing and the remembrance of allah is greater and allah knows what we should do so allah knows what are the things we are doing we see over here that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what are the instruction that has been mentioned over here first of all to recite the quran tilawa of the quran so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been mentioned to recite the quran and three things reciting quran establishing prayer and remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta and that is much remembrance so these are the things that is mentioned in this ayah and we are doing the just summary of it we are not going into the detail of this because this is uh, just a tauri quran this we want to go through the whole summary of it and if you want to go in detail talimul quran is there i am doing word to word translation detail for all age and all boys and girls so you can follow there shaqiq bin salama said someone talked by abdullah radiyallahu anhu with the musab that was adorned with gold so he said indeed the most beautiful way in which the musab is adorned is by its rightful recitation 
so it doesn't mean like you know you are um, adorning the quran in a and beautifying with the nice the covers and so on so forth no the important is you have to recite it correctly beautifully that is the haq of the quran abdul radial anu said do not recite quran quickly as if if it were poetry and do not toss it aside as a cheap date or toss aside but rather pause it as where it's required and read it with the moved hearts with it you know when you read it your heart should have that contentment and peace and it should uh, feel uh, in your heart that's what it mentioned ayah number 46 we are doing surah al ankabut juz number 21 and do not argue with the people of scripture except in a way that is that except for those who commit injustice among them except for those who commit injustice among them and say we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you and our god and your god is one and we are muslim in submission to him so wa ilahukum ilahu wahid wa nahnu lahu muslimun ay number 47 surah al ankabut and this we have sent down to you the quran and those to whom we previously gave the scripture believe in it and among these and ayah uh, number 48 we are doing surah al ankabut juz number 21 and you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did, did not recite before it any scripture nor did you inscribe one with your right hand otherwise the falsifiers would have had cause for the doubt rather the quran is distinctive verses bal huwa ayatun bayyinatun fi sudur allazina utu alilm the quran is distinctive verse and that are preserved within the chest of those who have been given knowledge and none reject our verses except the wrong doers the people who don't want to believe they reject so we we should make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a hadith we learn that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the person who has memorized the quran will be made to wear the crown of respect and dignity and his parents will be made to wear silky robes and they will be more precious than the world and whatever is in it so both of uh, uh, both of them will ask him why have we been given this and they will be told because of your teaching your child the quran means the memorization you know it's just not the child memorize it the whole family because the way they teach it like you know when they make them memorize it i mean to say that uh, ibn al qayyim rahmatullah alayh said some of the bias predecessor would say that quran was revealed to be acted upon but the people have taken its recitation as its action you know it means like you know people are more focus on recitation but they have to act upon it this is why the people of the quran will consider it to be the people who act by the quran and follow whatever is in it even if they do not know the quran by heart but the person who merely memorizes it but does not understand it nor act by it then he is not of the ahlul quran you understand like somebody memorize it that is the first step okay you have to learn how to read and memorize it but he is getting stick to it and uh, he or she is not going to the second step what is the second step to understand and implement so it is like they are not from ahlul quran then even if he recites the letters and tajweed perfectly just as arrows are straight and perfectly but what is the aim here it's not just memorization you have to understand and implement it that is the main focus on the quran and i number 50 but they say why are not signs sent down to him from his lord see the signs are only with allah and i am only a clear born not and this is not sufficient for them that we have revealed to you the book which is recited to them indeed in that is a mercy and reminder for the people who believe and there was a hadith in that uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there was no prophet among the prophets but was given miracles because of which people believed in him but what i was given was the divine inspiration which allah revealed to me 
so i hope that my followers will be more than those of any other prophet on the resurrection so here prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying i hope my followers will be more ayah number 52 surah al ankabut says sufficient is allah qul tafa billahi baini wa bainakum shahida say sufficient is allah between me and you as a witness he knows that is in heaven and earth they who have believed in falsehood and disbelieved in allah it is those who are the losers i number 53 and they urge to hasten the punishment if not for the decree of specified the punishment would have reached them but it will surely come to them suddenly while they perceive not so punishment will be coming suddenly they, they don't even perceive they urge you to hasten the punishment indeed he will be encompassing of the disbeliever on the day the punishment will cover them from above them below them below their feet and it is said this is the result of what you used to do what is the reason wa yaqulu zuku ma kuntum ta'malun a number 56 ya ibadi means o oh my servant allazina amanu those who have believed in ardiya wasiya indeed my earth is spacious it is vast fa iyaya fa'buduni so worship only me i number 57 onwards here it is mentioned several places this aya has been mentioned and this is one of the place kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut summa ilaina turja'un every soul will taste death then to us will you be returned so we all have to go back whether we want whether we don't want any accident any mishap anything they, there will be a reason for it but our return ticket is confirmed we have to go back i number 58 those who have believed and done righteously he will surely assign to them jannah elevated chamber beneath which river flows there they abide eternally excellent is the reward of the righteous workers and number 59 and 60 those who have been patient upon their lord they rely means here allazina sabaru wa ala rabbihim yatawakkalun when we do sabr you know we should have complete tawakkul and yaqeen on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how many creatures carry not its provision allah provides for it for you and he is hearing and knowing you know have you ever noticed like you know how the birds they carry their uh, risk in their mouth so allah is one who is raza allah is one who is providing meaning allah gives the provision even like small birds insects doesn't matter they are empty in the morning by the evening they have full tummy subhanallah and we should ask dua also Allah maghfirli warhamni afini warzukhni because warzukhni o oh Allah provide us and Allah marzukhni means Allah is the one who provided and we say this dua in, in salah also if you ask them who created heaven and earth subjected the sun and moon they would definitely surely say Allah then how are they deluded so Allah says Uh, everything allah did fa uh, uh, fa uh, you fakun fa anna you fakun how come they are deluded now i number 62 allah extend provision for whom he wills for his servants and restrict for whom he wills indeed allah is of all things knowing i number 63 surah al ankabut if you ask them who send down a rain from the sky and gives thereby earth after its lifelessness they will surely say allah alhamdulillah all praise is to allah but most of them do not reason so qulillahu qulil hamdulillah bal aksarahum la yaqilun they don't have aql they don't use their intellect and this worldly life is not but diversion and amusement and indeed home of the hereafter is the eternal life if only they know in surah al ghafir ayah number 39 allah say wa innal akhirata hiya darul qarar means 
the home of the hereafter that is the home of stability ay number 65 surah al ankabut and when they board a ship they supplicate allah sincerely to him in religion but when he delivers them to the land at once they associate others with him means they make dua when they um, like uh, reach finally to the right place they associate partners rabbi anzilni munzalan mubarakan wa anta khairun munzilin this dua also will see inshallah and here have they not seen that we made makkah like here talking about uh, sorry and here ayah number 65 and 66 and 67 so they deny we have granted them they will enjoy themselves but they are going to know have they not seen we made makkah a safe sanctuary makkah is the place it is a safe sanctuary while people are being taken away all around them then in falsehood do they believe in favor of allah they disbelieve ayah number 68 and who is more unjust than one who invents a lie about allah or denies the truth then it has come to them is they not in hell sufficient residence for the uh, disbelievers wallajina jahadu fina a number 69 those who strive for us la nahdi annahum subulana we will surely guide them to our ways wa inna allah ma al muhsinin indeed allah is with the doer of good Uh, Ibn Al Qayyim rahmatullah le says Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has conditioned guidance with the like you know uh, going in the way of Allah. So the person who strives more will have more guidance, hidayah. And the most important going in the way, the most important form of striving is to strive against your nafs, the desire, the shaitan, and the world. Four things to strive against: the nafs. the desire the shaitan and the world he who strives against this four things for the sake of allah then allah will guide on the right path allah will guide this path and this will lead such a person to jannah so we, this is not easy we have to strive hard because we learn in surah al yusuf inna nafsal ammaratu bisu because the nafs it will strive for the bad so we have to overcome with our nafs and we should make dua also because nafs can overcome even like if you leave your nafs it will overcome even the blink of an eye so we have to be careful about it so the next is surah ar rum alif lam mim qolibat ar rum the this in this surah talking about the people of the rum the surah was revealed in 615 CE the year when the Romans were completely overpowered by the Persian during the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam residing in Makkah this was the same year in which Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave permission to oppress Muslims to migrate to the Habasha so what are the things we going to cover in this i am going to say that also how many ayahs are there 60 ayahs again it's a short surah and it's a makki surah the roman christian defeated at the hands of persian basil was considered by makkah a sign of the muslim defeated at the hands of arab unbelievers prophecy of the roman victory against persian and the muslims victory against disbeliever allah has originated the creation and he will resurrect the dead for the final judgment creation of man his um, creation has been mentioned and believing in oneness you know makki surah it more talks about you know oneness and also in this mention about uh, husband and wife relationship husband and wife relationship is for mahabba and rahma so this is alif lam mim starts with huruf e muqattad ghulibat ar rum ghulibat ar rum means the romans have been defeated and in the nearest land after the defeat will come their enemy with the 3 to 9 years to allah belong the commands before and after and that day the believers will rejoice means uh, so here the prediction was given news of the future was given 
you see at the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the byzantines and the persians were constantly at war and remember that romans were christians and the muslim of course they felt closer to them and the persians were idolaters and the mushriki in makkah felt closer to them and when uh, the romans were defeated the mushriki of makkah were very very happy but these verses were revealed that within a few years romans will be victorious again and on the same day muslim will rejoice for another reason when these verses were revealed muslims did not know the what that reason would be and they found out on the day of badr because when they were victorious at badr on the same day the muslim received news about the victory of romans and i number 5th in the victory of allah meaning the believers will rejoice why in the victory of allah the victory that allah will give them he gives victory to whom he will and he is the exalted in might and merciful so here allah subhanahu wa taala is mentioning how the victory will be i number 6 onwards we are doing surah al um, rum then they know what is apparent of the worldly life they know what is apparent of the worldly life but they of the here after are unaware hasan al basri the said there is among people who can scratch a coin within his finger nail and he can tell you how much it weighs yani just by touching just by feeling he can tell you how much the the coin weighs he doesn't make a mistake in that but he doesn't even know how to pray you understand he is so much immersed into the duniyadari in the worldly thing we learn in a hadith that there is nothing that will bring you close to jannah except that i have ordered you of it and there is nothing that will draw you close to hell except that i have forbidden you so what is forbidden we have to stop ourselves abalam ya tafakkaru fi anfusihim do they not contemplate within themselves allah has not created the heaven and earth what is between them except its truth for a specified term and indeed many of the people in the matter of meeting with their lord are these believers i number 9 have they not traveled through the earth and observe how was the end of those before them they were greater than them in power they plow the earth and build it more than they have built it up i number uh, 10 and 11 then the end of those who did evil was the worst consequence allah will begin uh, creation then he will repeat it and then to him you will be repeat you will be return so allah can make as once allah can repeat twice and allah make us resurrect again and the day the hours appear the criminals will be in despair and there will not be for them among their alleged partners any intercessor and they will be then be disbelieving in their partners i number 13 onwards and there will be not for them alleged partners and the day the hour appears that day they will become separated and as for those who had believed and that righteous deeds hum fiha rodati yahbarun they will be in garden of jannah delighted i number 16 onwards but as those who disbelieve and deny our verses and meeting of hereafter those will be brought into the punishment into remain wa subhanallah so exalted is allah when you reach the evening when you reach the morning i number 17 so here for subhanallah hina tum so wa hina tuzbahun so remember allah in the morning and the evening i number 18 onward and to him is due all praises throughout the heaven and earth and exalted is he the night when you are at noon he brings the life out of death and brings the dead out of life and brings life the earth after its lifelessness and thus will you be brought out i number 20 and of his sign is that he created you from dust then suddenly you were being beings human beings dispersing i number 21 wa min ayati and of his sign is that he created for you from yourself mates 
so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking wa min ayati an yaqalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwajan azwajan litaskunu ilayha wa ja'ala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahma inna fi zalika la ayati liqaumi yatafakkarun now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning about spouse meaning spouse from your own species that you may find tranquility in them also remember that hawa was made from the adam al islam so there is no like uh, uh, competition between men and women that men are supposed to the enemies to women or vice versa no we are from each other we are same yani we are all from the same source why has allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for you from yourself mates that you may find tranquility in them you may find sukoon and he placed between you mawadda and rahma affection and mercy indeed in that are sign for a people who give thought we see here that mutual love affection mercy kindness compassion between a husband and wife ayatin min ayan min ayatillah so litaskunu means ilaiha to find tranquility and sukoon through your spouse meaning if marriage is not bringing sukoon on the contrary it is bringing pain and suffering there is abuse then it defeats the purpose of marriage that is not marriage marriage is meant to bring sukoon to a person and if that sukoon is not coming there is constant you know pain and suffering then perhaps that marriage is not supposed to continue because marriage is meant to bring sukoon and sometimes what happen is that we absolutely forbid the option of divorce we think that it is haram it's not lawful yani a person is not required to live in a relationship that is destroying them that is bringing them grief suffering on daily basis yani daily fighting and you are not happy your husband is not happy allah has given the option for the divorce you should try hard but if it is not working why because allah subhanahu wa taala has legislated the option of divorce we have borrowed from other religion concepts that we have made them islamic you know it's not an islamic concept that you are supposed to stay together until death no it's not so islam does not promote so so marriage is meant to bring sukoon we see what brings sukoon in marriage that peace and tranquility is the love mercy that allah subhanahu wa taala bless a couple because with his um, um, love and mercy allah subhanahu wa taala bless a couple with love and mercy when they are loving and merciful to one another so show that love and mercy and ask allah for that love and mercy so mawadda and rahma what does that look like you know it means that you understand each other you love each other you understand good and bad of each other yani you have to talk and you know whatever the misunderstanding you have to clear that matter and when you clear that matter you can spend a life in a better manner aisha radhiyallahu anha said that i would eat from a piece of meat and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would eat from the same piece of meat from the same place he would bite it at the same place as i did and she said at times i would be menstruating and she said i would drink from the cup and you know he would drink from the same place means these are like you know sharing and caring this shows the love we learn had in hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said shall i not inform you of your women in jannah he said they are buluda budud meaning he described them then he said when she gets angry or she was offended or her husband is angry she says my hand is in yours and i will not sleep until you are fine subhanallah i am not okay with you being mad i am not okay it means you know if your husband is angry or upset just resolve the problem and make it good you know you can't sleep in a anger that's what and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no believing man should hate a believing woman meaning yani meaning his own wife if there is something that he dislikes uh, dislikes in her there will be another that he likes 
so try to make up and try to understand each other because husband and wife relationship is for mahabba and rahma not for fighting with each other and among his signs creation of heaven and earth diversity your language color is different and his sign in your sleep day and night how the different in the day and night how the different color people are there different ethnicity his signs he shows you lightning causing fear aspiration he send down rain from the sky and his sign is that heaven and earth remain by his command and to him belong whatever is in heaven and earth and he who begins the creation and it is even easier for him to repeat and i am number 28 onward he present to you an example from yourself do you have among them who's your right hand possess any partner in what we have provided for you that you are equal therein would fear them as you fear of one another within a partnership thus do we detail the words for the people who use the reason but those who uh, wrong follow their own desire without knowledge then who can guide one whom allah has sent astray for them there are no helpers and here i am number 30 so direct your face towards the religion means inclining towards the truth means adhere to the fitra fitra means la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah wa ma qalaqtu al-jinna wal insa illa liya'budun allah has created jinn and men for the ibada our main purpose is for the ibada and we are on the fitra believing in oneness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, and pray to it turning in repentance in him and fear him establish prayer and do not be those who associate others with allah uh, or those who divide their religion and become into sects I mean different groups and when adversity touches the people they call upon their lord turning in repentance to him then when he lets them taste mercy from him at once a party of them associate others with their lord like you know when human being is touched with the adversity he remember allah when adversity is removed they associate partners so that they will deny what we have guaranteed them the enjoying yourself for you are going to know i number 35 suratul um, rum or we have sent down to them authority and it speaks of what they were associating with him now whatever they are associating they will give witness against them and we let people taste mercy they rejoice therein but if evil afflicts them for what their hands have put forth immediately they despair if evil afflicts them for what their hands have put forth i number 37 do they not see that allah extends provision for whom he wills and restricted indeed in that are signs for the people who believe I number 38 so give relatives his right and needy traveler the best for those who desire the countenance of allah face of allah and it is they who will be successful so why we are giving for the sake of allah because we want allah to get pleased and whatever you give uh, for interest to increase within the wealth of people will not increase with allah because allah don't like interest but what you give zakat desiring the face of allah those are the multipliers allah is he who created then now allah is saying the allah is one who created you provided for you then will cause you to die then will you uh, will give you life are there any of your partners who does anything of this so allah is asking i am giving life and death anyone else can do this is there any god no there is no god only allah is the god i am number 41 zahar al fasad fil barr wal bahr now the corruption has approved appeared through the earth the land and the sea by by the reason of what the hands of the people have heard and he may let them taste part of the consequence what they have done that perhaps they will return and here we learn Uh, in hadith uh, the humiliation and disgrace is placed on who those who oppose the command of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so uh, in another hadith we learn that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that 
when fahasha when indecency will spread in a people so much so that people commit indecent things out in the open without any shape so here in ayah number 42 say prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam travel through land and observe how was the end of the people before them because those who are associating partners what was their end so direct your face towards the correct religion before a day comes from allah which there is no repelling that day they will be divided so what is the correct religion wa aqima wajhaka li deen al qayyima min qabl an yati yawman la marad laha min allah yawman yasaddun and whoever disbelieve allah says whoever disbelieve upon him the consequence of disbelief and whoever does righteous they are for them themselves preparing he may reward those who have believed and done righteous deeds out of his bounty and his sign is that he sends the wind bringer of good news you know how the rain comes and how the mercy of allah and how the ship sails all those things and a number 47 and 48 and we have already sent messengers before you before also allah sent several messengers and allah is is he who sends the wind so that they raise clouds and spreads them along the sky however he wills and he makes them into fragments you know how the rain fall although before that even before it was sent down upon them they were in despair and then look at the effect signs of the mercy of allah how he revives the earth after its death you know after spring when uh, after uh, winter spring comes you see the dead um, land is comes to alive he will give life to dead and he is able to do all the things if he send a wind then they see the crops turns yellow they would remain there after in their disbelief you know these are the signs allah is saying showing still their disbelief so indeed you will not make the dead here nor will you make the deaf here uh, when they turn their backs means they are not using their faculty faculties for the sake of allah and you cannot guide the blind away from their error allah is the one who created you from weakness then made after the weakness strengthen made their strength weakness and why they he creates that he is knowing and competent i number 55 and the day the hour appears the criminals will swear they had remained but an hour that they were deluded but those who were given knowledge and faith and they will say you remain the extent of allah decrease until the day of resurrection and this is the day of resurrection but you did not used to you know i number 57 so that day their excuse will not benefit those who are arrogant or wrong nor will they be asked and we have certainly presented to the people in this quran from every kind of example but if you should bring them a sign that these believers will say you believe are but falsifiers because they don't want to believe does allah steal the hearts of those who do not know so be patient ayah number 60 wasbir inna wadallahi haqqan wa la yastaqifannaka allazina la yuqinun so be patient indeed the promise of allah is true and let them not discourage you those who have certainly certainty of the faith surah al luqman so hakim luqman will be mentioned he is the one who used the hikmah he is using using the hikmah in this the surah al luqman is 34 ayahs and it's a makki surah this surah was revealed in the last year of the middle stage of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam residing in makka the subject matter indicates that it was revealed in the same period when surah ankabut was revealed the quran is the book of wisdom and blessing for righteous luqman advised to his son not to commit shirk not to associate partners with allah rights of the mothers and mother and parents not to obey parents if they ask you to commit shirk islamic moral behavior and human interaction the man reason for misguidance is the blind following of one's forefather if all trees were uh, pens and uh, oceans inks allah's word would not put in writing allah is the only reality 
mankind fear that day when either a father shall avail his son or son can avail his father let's not shaitan deceive you concerning the fact so these are the things mentioned in this surah and after that inshallah surah to sajda and surah al ahzab alif lam mim tilka ayatul kitabil hakim these are the revelation of the wise book this book is wise and a guidance and a mercy for the righteous people huda wa rahma rahmatan lil muhsinin those who establish prayer and give poor due and have faith with certainty in the hereafter and they are those who establish prayer and give zakah are the hereafter certain in surah al baqara we learn that these are muttaqin the people who have taqwa who benefit from the quran and who have this qualities and here we see that such people are muhsini those who are doer of good so the fact is that the person who has taqwa who is uh, conscious of allah will definitely do good because the conscious of allah make you do what you are doing good uh, ayah number 5 onwards ulaika la hudam mir rabbihim wa ulaika humul muflihun those are the right guidance from their lord and it is those who are successful lahul hadith and of those people is he who buys lahul hadith means the amusement of speech why to mislead others from the way of allah without knowledge and who takes it in the ready to those will have a humiliating punishment you see lahul hadith is mentioned here lahu is a thing in which a person delights himself meaning something in which a person is so occupied and they are having so much fun that they are diverted they are distracted from what is more important lahul hadith speech that is lahu idle talk distracting amusing speech discourse and this could, could be in the form of song music it could be in the form of uh, fable stories something that you read in the book like you know digest or something you are watching here we learn lahul hadith what does it do li yudilla an sabilillah it leads a person from the right path of allah and lahul hadith remember it takes a person away from ahsan al hadith ahsan al hadith is the quran and idle talk such things they distract a person from the best speech al bukhari said they, these are those new and latest thing in which a person spends their time in order to amuse themselves yani watching tv social media using different gadgets all these things katada said it is possible that a person does not buy lahwal hadith with their money but when they enjoy it then it is like they have brought it because they have given preference to it meaning they have given preference uh, to it over the quran and zikr of allah so ibn al qasir said this is very detrimental to a uh, detrimental to a person that they give preference to what is false and fake and unrealistic and wrong over truthful speech when abdullah ibn masud radiyallahu anhu was asked about this ayah he said wallahu allazi la ilaha illa hu by allah the one besides whom there is no god worthy of worship and this is all ghina this is singing meaning this is singing and music and he said this is three times so definitely when you have been listening to the song example like you know you are listening again and again you get occupied in that qurtubi said ghina means that song which moves the soul and inside desires disobedience and such songs that mention the beauty of women and you know they praise alcohol other unlawful things shameful things one should avoid such kind of lahwal hadith let's move i number 7 to 10 when our verses are recited to him they turn away arrogantly if he had not heard them as if their ears have deafness and give glad tidings of painful punishment indeed those who believe and do righteous deeds for them are gardens of pleasure when they abide eternally for in them and i number 10 he created heaven without pillars that you see and he cast into earth firmly sent mountains lest it should swift with you and disperse there from every creature 
we send down rain from the sky and made grow and has a qalqulla and this is the creation of allah so how show me what others have walaqad atayna luqman now ayah number 12 now mention about the luqman walaqad atayna luqman hikma and we had certainly given luqman wisdom what was the essence of the wisdom what was the mean the first lesson the first impact of the at wisdom anushkurli that be grateful to allah remember luqman was a wise person he was not a prophet but yet his words of wisdom are actually recorded in the quran because the person is given wisdom is given a lot of good the door of goodness are open for them and the first part of wisdom is to be grateful to allah subhanahu wa taala a lot of people will practice gratitude yani this is something that is new trend you will see this in uh, everywhere but the people they actually the gratitude towards who gratitude towards allah subhanahu wa taala but people are showing gratitude toward other thing but we have to show gratitude towards allah subhanahu wa taala wa may yashkur fa inna ma yashkuru li nafsi and whoever is grateful is grateful for the benefits of himself wa man kafar and whoever denies his favor then indeed allah is free of need and praiseworthy so if we are grateful and thankful it is for our own beneficial if it, if we are not then it is our loss and when luqman said to his son while he was instructing him o oh my son do not associating anything with allah wa is qala luqman li abihi wa huwa ya'izuhu ya bunayya la tushriku billah innal inna shirka la zulmun azim he said not to do the shirk because shirk is zulmun azim it's a greatest sin and one should ask forgiveness before dying and we have enjoined upon man care of his parents i number 14 allah subhanahu wa taala mention about care for his parents why because his mother carried increasing her in weakness upon weakness and his weaning in two years and be grateful to me to your parents to me is the final destination we learn sufyan ibn uyana said that he who offers five prayers then he is thanking allah and whoever after every prayer prayer for his parents then he, he is also thanking his parents means rabbir hamhuma kama rabbayani sagira if they are alive then also if they are not and then i number 15 if they endeavor to make you associate with me that of which you have no knowledge do not obey them but accompany them in this world with appropriate kindness and follow the way those who turn back to me means don't listen regarding allah subhanahu wa taala making shirk but you have to help them in household chores or the worldly things then to me will be you return i will inform you about what you used to do i number 16 luqman said ya bunayya innaha in takum misqal habba so here uh, hakim luqman is saying luqman said oh my son indeed if it should be equal to the weight of a grain of mustard seed then should be in a rock or in the heaven or in the earth allah will bring it forth indeed allah is subtle aware Oh my son establish prayer and join kindness and forbid iniquity and bear with patience upon whatever may befall you indeed that is firmness the conduct of affairs so here a uh, few things mentioned in a number 16 and 17 luqman said uh, like you know the indeed if wrong should be weight of a mustard seed should be hidden in a rock like uh, it will be seen by allah subhanahu wa taala you should have uh, like fear of allah so something like a small petty thing if you are doing that also allah can know everything and also mention like you know uh, establish prayer and what is right you have to say and forbid wrong but these are the facts you have to do azmil umur you should have the firm determination you know when you stop somebody Uh, if they are wrong what they do they will say something so before that it is mentioned you know bil marufi wa amru bil marufi wa anha anil munkar wasbir ala ma asabak 
you have to do sabar you have to do the patience for all this in nazalika min azmil umir these are the things where you have to have the firm determination and do not turn your cheek in scorn towards people nor walk in the land exultantly indeed allah does not love each self conceited boaster so when you walk you you can't break the earth prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah has revealed to me that you must be humble so that no one oppress another or boast one another walk yamshuna haunan surah al furqan we run luqman said be moderate in your pace means lower your voice how you should talk that also is mentioned means don't yell indeed the most disagreeable of sound is the voice of donkey so yani we shouldn't shout we shouldn't yell because the most hated uh, sound is the sound of the donkey and i number 20 we are doing surah al luqman do you not see that allah made subject to you whatever in heaven and earth and but people is you disputes about allah without knowledge or guidance and uh, and whoever surrender his face to a land he is doer of good and certainly has grasped the firm handhold and to allah will be the outcome of the matters but those who disbelieve let not his disbelief grieve you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to is their return and we shall surely inform them of what they used to do indeed allah is aware of what is in their chest if you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ask them who created heaven and earth certainly they will say allah all praises to allah qul alhamdulillah bal aksarahum la ya'lamun and if all the trees in the earth were to become pens and the oceans ink replenish replenished after that means it will exhaust with the praising of allah even the seven ocean and seven more but allah's praise will be, will not be enough praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because allah is praiseworthy exhausted indeed allah is mighty and wise have you not seen that allah causes night to enter the day and go day to enter the night and you know how the things will be have you not seen that ships sail through the sea by the favor of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when wave um, enshrouds them like a canopy they call to allah making their faith sincere for them then when he delivers them to the land then some among them follow middle ways none denies our sign except very treacherous qattar in kufur oh mankind fear lord fear your lord because a day when nothing will avail a day when no father shall avail anything for his son nor shall any son will avail anything for his father indeed allah promises truth so let not the life of the world delude you or deceive you nor let the deceiver shaitan deceive you about indeed allah with him is knowledge of the hour and he sends down the rain he knows that which is in the wombs and no soul no soul knows what it it will earn tomorrow and no soul knows in what land it will die indeed allah is the knower and all aware so we don't know where we will die allah knows about it surah to sajda another makki surah surah to sajda it has 30 ayas surah to sajda sajda was revealed during the initial stage of middle period of the prophet residence at makka uh, and beyond all doubts this quran revelation from allah sent to warn this people to whom no warners has come before on the day of judgment the disbeliever shall believe but that belief will be of no benefit to them Quran is similar to the book which was given to Prophet Musa al-Islam and how the people of uh, uh, like Bani Israel how they rejected Surah Al-Sajda and another surah starts with huruf muqattar Alif Lam Mim Tanzil al-Kitab la rayba fihi min Rabbil Alamin The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would recite Surah Al-Sajda before going to sleep and he would also recite in fajr prayer on friday and this is something that should encourage us to memorize this surah also and recite in salat and you start reciting it every night you will uh, easily memorize it the revelation of the book in which there is no doubt in from the lord of the worlds or do they say he invented rather it is a truth from your lord 
and you may warn a people to whom no warner has come before. Uh, it is Allah who created heaven and earth and he is on the throne. He arranges matter from the heaven to earth they, that is known of the unseen and witness the exalted and might and merciful who perfected everything which he created and began the creation man from the clay. And ayah number 8, then he made it posterity out of the extract of the liquid disdain. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Summa jala naslahu min sulalatin min ma'in maheen. Ayah number 9, he proportioned him, breathed him uh, from his created soul and made for you hearing this demand heart. Little are you grateful. We should thank Allah and we should recite this dua also. Allahumma aafini fi sami, Allahumma aafini fi basari, Allah ilaha illa. I number 10 and 11. And when they are lost within the earth, will we indeed be resurrected in new creation? Rather, they are in the matter of the meeting with their Lord disbelievers. The angel of death, like you know, they are saying we will be disintegrated. Are we going to create it again? Yes, of course. The angel of death who has charge over you will take your souls, then you shall be brought back to your Lord. And if you could see when the criminals will lower their heads before their Lord, saying, Our Lord, we have seen and we have heard, so send us back. We will do righteous deeds. We do indeed believe. So they will be given second chance? No. So taste punishment because you forgot the meeting of this your day. Indeed, we have accordingly forgotten you. And taste the punishment of eternity for what you used to do. I number 15, only those who believe. There is a sajda over here. Those believe in our ayahs who when they are reminded by them, fall down in prostration, exalt Allah with praise of their Lord and they are not arrogant. And they rise from their beds. Very beautiful ayah. So in the night, they are separated from their beds. Why? They want to supplicate Allah. They, they have fear and hope. And they supplicate their Lord in fear and hope. And of that, what we have bestowed on them, they spend. So we should also do the same thing. We should have fear and we should wake up in the tahajjun and uh, make our um, habit to make dua and do the salah and recite Quran. So no soul know what is kept hidden for them or comfort of the eyes. And Allah says, and for those who disobey, so their refuge is fire. And whenever they desire to get out of it, they are brought back into it. Like, you know, they will be pushed back into it. And certainly we gave Musa the book. So do not be in doubt of this receiving it. We appointed it guidance for the children of Israel. It is, um, is it not a guidance for them? How many of the generation we destroyed before them? Amid whose dwelling place they do walk. Indeed, in that are signs. Will they not listen? And they say, when will be the judgment? If you should be truthful, say on the day of judgment, no benefit it will be to those who disbelieve. If then they believe, neither will they be reprieved. So we draw from them, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and wait. Indeed, they are waiting to fa'arid anhum fantazir in muntazirun. Suratul Ahzab. Few ayahs we will cover in this. And here, this Suratul Ahzab, it's a Madani Surah. So, and in this, we will learn about, you know, uh, how we, women should cover this. Uh, it has 73 ayahs. And in this, Suratul Ahzab is a Madani Surah and 73 verses. Uh, we going to learn in this, the, the period and the background about this. And the Surah was revealed during the fifth year after a migration of Prophet ﷺ to Medina. During that year, three important events took place. The Battle of Trench, Al-Ahzab, the raid on the Banu Quraiza to Jewish tribe, and the Prophet ﷺ marriage to Zainab Anhu, the, Anha, the divorced wife of adopted son Zaid bin Harissa. Uh, fear Allah, do not obey disbelievers and hypocrites. Laws relating to divorce and status of adopted son. And by the word of mouth, neither your wives become your real mothers, nor your adopted sons, your real sons. Prophets' wives are declared to be the mothers of the believers. Battle of trench, ahzab, favor of Allah, attitude of the hypocrite, 
and non participants in the war the life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam declared to be the model of all like uswa hasna for all of us surah al ahzab bismillahi rahmani rahim ya ayyuhan nabiyyu taqulla wala tutil kafirin wal munafiqin inna allaha kana aliman hakima o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam fear allah and do not obey the disbelievers and the hypocrites indeed allah is all lover all wise so here mention about you know hypocrites and disbelievers and how they are that is the thing mentioned over here the disbelievers and hypocrites so in this what what we we going to learn surah al ahzab remember prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is never addressed in quran by his name allah subhanahu wa taala always address in quran with one of his title ya ayyuhan nabi when it comes to the other prophets we see yani ya zakaria ya isa ya musa ya ibrahim ya nu ya adam prophets are addressed by name but when it comes prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his never, name is never mentioned in sense that he never address with his name he always address with his title only four times his name has been mentioned and here mention of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam fear allah and do not obey the disbelievers and hypocrites indeed allah is ever knowing and wise and follow that which is revealed to you from your lord indeed allah is with what you do acquainted wa tawakkal ala allah and rely upon allah subhanahu wa taala and allah is sufficient and disposer of all affairs wa tawakkal ala allah wa kafa billahi wakila and now here mention allah has not made for a man two hearts in the interior you only have one heart in your body and he has not made your wife whom you declare unlock your your mother meaning either this woman is your wife yani she is your wife she cannot be your mother meaning a wife is a wife and mother is a mother don't confuse between the two because in the people in the ignorance they will say when they want to get rid of the wife they will say you are like a, ma- a mother to me and that uh, uh, like relationship will be forbidden and haram so that is the thing mentioned over here don't say that he has not made your adopted son your true son this is merely your saying by your mouth and allah says to he guides to the right path uduhum la li abaihim call them by the names of their father is more just in the sight of allah meaning if you have adopted child don't give them your surname let the child know who is their biological father but if you don't know their fathers when they are still your brothers in religion but and those interested you and there is no blame upon you for that in which you have errored but only for what your heart intended and ever is allah forgiving and merciful prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he who claim for another one his fatherhood beside his own father knowingly that jannah is forbidden for him so we should tell there is nothing wrong in adopting the child but the thing you should inform that child who is their parents an nabi ula bil mu'minina min anfusi anfusihim the prophet is more worthy of the believers than themselves and his wives are in the position of their mothers and those of the blood relationship are more entitled to inheritance in the decree of allah than the others believers and immigrant except that you may do to your close associate kindness that was in the book inscribed and mentioned when we took prophet their covenant from you meaning prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and from no ibrahim musa isa the son of maryam and we took from them a solemn covenant and number 8 he may question the truthful about their truth oh you who have believed remember favor of allah upon you we are talking about battle of kandal battle of trench which is known as the battle of ahzab why it is called ahzab in ayah number 9 because different ahzab different groups of people but different areas came together to fight or the muslims it was an army of 10000 people they basically joined their forces together against the muslim and remember when they when they came at you from above you meaning from the north from the below from the south when the eye shifted in fear 
when hearts reach the thoughts and you assumed about Allah various assumptions. There are believers who are tasted and shaken with a severe shaking. And remember when the hypocrites and those in whose heart is disease said, Allah and his messenger did not promise except delusion. And uh, when a faction of them said, Oh, people of your faith, there is no stability for you here, so return home. And a party of them asked permission of Prophet saying, Indeed, our houses are unprotected. While they were not exposed, they not intended uh, like uh, except to flee. Meaning they actually did not want to participate in the battle. So they came with these excuses. So we see here that hypocrites at this difficult time were more concerned about themselves. And they were make, making excuses and they want to flee themselves. And here it's mentioned, say who is who can protect you from Allah. If he intends harm for you or intends mercy for you. And they will not find for themselves beside Allah any friend or any helper. And in this ayah number 20, here it is mentioned, they think the companions have not yet withdrawn. And if companions should come again, they would wish they were in the desert, among the Bedouins, inquiring from far about your knees. And if they news, but if they should be among you, they would not fight except for little. Actually, they don't want to fight. And there has certainly been for you in Messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day who remembers Allah often. And here in ayah number 23, among the believers are men true to what they promised Allah. Among them is who has fulfilled his vow. Among them is who awaits his chance. And they did not alter the terms of their commitment by any alteration. And Allah repelled those who disbelieve in their rage, means in the anger, and not having obtained any good. And sufficient was Allah for the believers in the battle. And ever is Allah powerful and exalted in might. O Prophet Wasallam, say to your wife, ayah number 28, if you should desire the worldly life and its adornment, then come. I will provide for you and give you a gracious release. Yani, our Prophet said, if you should desire Allah and his messenger and the home of the hereafter, then intend that indeed. And Allah has prepared for the good doers among a great reward. Yani, if they have the choice to remain with Prophet they have to sacrifice because you can't strive for the worldly things because they have given an honor of being a wife of Prophet Muhammad so Prophet ﷺ went to Aisha anha and recited this ayah before her and told her, consult her parents before making a decision. And she said, why would I need to consult my parents? I choose um, Allah and his messenger, the home of the hereafter. She said, no, I don't want to ask them. I want to choose you. Ya Nisa Nabi, O wife of Prophet ﷺ, whoever of you should commit a clear immorality, for her the punishment would be doubled twofold and ever is that for Allah easy. So in ayah number 30, remember when the honor is great, then responsibility is also great. And of course, the reward is also great. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with certain privilege to Ummu Hatul Mu'minin, and the test is also great and the punishment is also great. Jazakallah khair and kaseera subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka natubleik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi barakatuhu. Jazakallah khair and